Sup guys, I have a, another experiment for you. This one though is a long time coming. Uh, you guys wanted me to add the Razer phone to my speed test for the fastest phone of 2017 and to my battery test for the best battery of 2017. But at the time, Razer was just completely out of the devices and they couldn't get me one. Finally though, they managed to get me one and I managed to get in both of those two tests on the device. Now, this one we're going to do is gonna be the battery test. So, it, you're gonna see the next shot where I have all the phones lined up. It's gonna look a lot like the Razer phone has been photoshopped into this scene. That's because it has. I apologize, but it was the only way I could do it. It was, I had to get the phone separately and I just kind of set it up next to him, but everything is timed properly, so it should, still should just make sense and still work. Just apologize the, um, sketchy photoshopping job uh, that was done. But with that said, I put up the Razer phone versus all of the other um, top phones from that best battery video, which you can find the link below if you wanna check that out on its own, and had them all run the same video uh, on the same gigabit Wi-Fi network with all of the same accounts, social media accounts attached to it, with the same notifications running at the same time, the same screen brightness to my eye, and um, one more thing, Oh, they all were playing the video at the same 1080p. So, let's get started. And three hours in. Also, excuse the fact that the iPhone 10 is kind of moving around, uh, and then I have to reset it. The vibration motor on it is just insane, um, and it just kind of tries to walk around the table. Seven hours in. Oh. And a little over eight hours in, the essential phone dies and we have a low power notification on the iPhone 10. Next, the iPhone 10 dies at a little over nine hours, followed almost immediately by the Pixel 2 XL. And our Razer phone dies at nine hours and 47 minutes, followed by the OnePlus 5T and shortly after the Note 8. And the one outlasting all of them by a bit longer, the Mate 10 Pro. So some unsurprising things that happened, we had the iPhone 10 die and the Pixel 2 XL die pretty much around the same time. They just always kind of die in these tests first, basically. Uh, and then we had, um, well before that actually, we had the Essential Phone, which died immediately. Not immediately, eight hours in, which is not bad by any means, but against these other phones, not great. It got kind of creamed. Um, then we had the uh, Razer Phone shortly after the Pixel 2 XL and the iPhone 10. So not bad for battery life, the fact that it has a 4,000 milliamp battery in there though, tells me that there could be some optimizations that could be done to make it a little bit um, longer lasting. The Note 8 beat it, for example, and the OnePlus 5T, which doesn't have anywhere near the same size battery, um, thanks to most likely all of the optimizations that OnePlus does, they do a lot of those when it comes to performance and to battery life. So there's that. Uh, then of course we had our you know, OnePlus 5T and our Note 8, and finally the Mate 10 Pro, which also has a huge battery, but clearly is a little bit better at uh, optimizing how it's used. There you go, guys. You asked for it. I'm sorry it's really late, but I hope you're happy that I finally did it. Um, let me know what you guys think of this test, what you think of the phone. If you guys have a better test, by the way, because this is not a very scientific test in any way, but I need a way that we can test the battery that is controllable and works across all the operating systems. So if you have a suggestion for that, as always, please let me know in the comments below. I'll check it out for sure. Um, otherwise, though, if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. Also, check out my channel if you like what you see there. Please subscribe. And also, don't forget to check the bell next to the word subscribe so that you get notified when I do new videos. As always though, regardless, thanks for watching.